to your host, Nikki Campbell. Right now, let's meet a girl with letters in her eyes and phrases on her fingertips. Yep. It's Carol Smiley. Tonight, we can chat our winner to the beauty and tranquility of the Seychelles and Mauritius. A fabulous two-week holiday, and it could be yours. Or grab the biggest TV jackpot in Britain. Or get your hands on the wheel of the Big Wheels wheels and drive away in the Vauxhall Nova three-door hatchback. Great fun. So you see, a spin of the wheel could mean a big, big deal for one of these three contestants. Let's meet them. Hello, Andrew. Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about yourself. Good evening, Nicky. Uh, my name's Andrew Maxwell. I'm 24 years old from Telford in Shropshire. I work for... Um, a regional evening newspaper called the Shropshire Star. Oh, and um, that's promotion for you, anyway. That's right. <laughs> and um, Matt Keane on Leeds United Football Club. They've had a lean time in recent years, haven't they? That's right, Nicky. Yeah, but I think they'll be um, first division next season. Oh, well, there's optimism for you. Well done, Andrew. Good luck on the Wheel of Fortune tonight. Uh, good evening to you, Jane. Hi. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Uh, my name's Jane Long. 24 years old from Portsmouth. Um, my hobbies are designing clothes, rodeo for my boyfriend's band, what, what FKW, are they school. Right. Brilliant. <laughs> and I've got a three year old daughter, Bianca. Hello, baby. <laughs> and that's it. How long, I must ask you just one thing how long does it take to get your hair like that? <laughs> About nine hours. Worth every single minute, let me tell you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it for the next week's Wheel of Fortune, I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Right, uh, good evening, Paula. Hello, my name's Paula Murray, and I'm a beauty therapist from Whitley Bay. You're a beauty therapist, so yes. what advice, how would you make me beautiful? I'm a beauty therapist, not a magician. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we play on? Here's the first puzzle, three words. This is a phrase. We drew lots before we came on air. Andrew, it's you to start. Answer this question. You've got control of the wheel. Here goes. Should you normally call an ambassador your excellency or your grace? Your grace. Your excellency. You're wrong. Jane, was it Phil Collins or Georgie Fame who began his career as a child actor? Georgie Fame. Phil Collins played the artful dodger. <laughs> Paula, in a modern three-pin electrical plug, is the neutral wire blue or brown? Blue. It's blue. You've got control of the wheel. Well done. <laughs> Beauty therapist does her spin and she gets 750 points. What a great start. Now, pick any left in the alphabet except for A, E, I, O, U. You have to buy vowels, you haven't got the points yet. Can you secure them? T for Thomas. You can't. Andrew, is the Sherpa Van Trophy a football competition or a cricket competition? It's a football competition. You'd know that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Wolfie Wonders uh, won it in 1989, didn't they? And uh, you're about as bankrupt as the Leeds United trophy cabinet, I'm afraid to have to tell you. <laughs> Jane! Jane, stop laughing. She's not a Leeds fan. Was Hadrian's Wall built BC or AD? AD. Yeah, second century AD. Well done. First time on the wheel, you're there, you've got control. Oh! <laughs> you're doing nine hours of work on your head. And 750, great spin. Um, I'll have S for sweets, please. Three of them. Yeah. Three times 750. <laughs> Work it out yourself. <laughs> You've got it. Great point scoring. Are we going to be enough to go through that? Not quite. Oh. 350. That's fine. Um, I have a T for train, please. Mm. Oh. Not there. Paula, is semolina made out of wheat or rice? Rice. It's from wheat flour it's actually made. I won't taste any of yours, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Andrew, in semaphore, if you hold one flag straight up above your head, is that the letter D or the letter R? That's the letter D. Well done, you've got control of the wheel. <laughs> Four, oh, 200. Can I have an L, please? L for lemon. Yep, you've got it, you've got the points as well. Come on, through the... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. 
Jane. Was Henry V or Henry VII the first Tudor King of England? Seventh. Seventh. Well done. You got it. <laughs> on the wheel. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Three hundred. Um, I'll have a C, please. <laughs> Paula, is the Notting Hill Carnival held on August Bank Holiday or at Easter? August Bank Holiday. Well done. You've got control of the wheel. Down you go. Give it a spin. Where will it end up? Oh, look at this. Very, very nice. 750. I have an R for Robert. Yes, you can have the points as well. You've just got 750 points into your bank. A turn. Andrew, it's Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey or St. Paul's Cathedral? St. Paul's Cathedral. Westminster Abbey. Jane, in the Chinese calendar, is 1990 the year of the horse or of the buffalo? Buffalo. It's the year of the horse. Paula, mm. does the word alphabet come from the Arabic or the Greek? Arabic. It's the Greek, alpha and beta, the first two Greek letters. Andrew, is a bullhead a small fish or a small bird? A small fish. It's a fish, well done, also called a miller's thumb. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, 150. Can I have a D for Donald, please? Yep, you can. You've got the points as well. I, I know it. Please. You want to solve Okay, solve it then. Bold as brass. Oh! <laughs> Jane has got it as well. Boulder's brush, right? You've got to choose one of these three prizes. Steve. Well, Andrew, here's one for all lovers of alfresco eating. A superb trolley barbecue with skewers, utensils, picnic box, cutlery, steak, broiler, gloves and apron. Plus, of course, a picnic table to serve it all up on. And for connoisseurs of Scandinavian cuisine, don't miss this chance of a trip for two to the Norwegian capital of Oslo. You'll never be bored when you're near a fjord. And to make any garden party go with a swing, you'll need this elegant garden hammock. Made of natural wood with extra padding for comfort. Just right for those lazy days of summer. Those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer. All right, Andrew, put us out of our misery. What are you going to have? Uh, I think I'd like to go to Oslo, please. You can go to Oslo. Well done, Andrew. Well done, Andrew. Let me tell you about the wheel. They put another bankrupt on the wheel. That doubles your chances of going broke. But I've added another thousand. Yeah. And Carol has this special prize. This nine carat gold matching cufflinks and tie pin has a timeless quality that never goes out of style. And you can win it if you land on this prize star, which I'm going to put down there on the 250. And then if you go on and solve this puzzle, it's got six words and it is a film. Jane, it's you to start this time. Answer the question, gain control of the wheel. Is George Bush the 39th or the 41st president of the USA? 41st. Well done, you've got control of the wheel. Oh! Can you have 800? Come on, come on, not quite oh. enough. 250, have a letter. Um, I'll have a S, please. Three of them. S for sugar. You've got them. 750 points. Seven hundred and fifty. Um, I'll have an H for Harry, please. Yeah, there's one there. You've got the point as well. This is a good story. Oh, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. That's all right. Six hundred. Um, I'll have a R for Robert, please. Yep, there's one there. You've got 600. It's going well. Oh, 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 200! C for cat, please. Yes, there's one as well. Well done. Going very nicely here, James. Oh, oh, look at that. Is it? Oh! oh. 200, another one. I'll have a... P for Portsmouth, please. No. Oh. Paula, is the actor William Shatner American or Canadian? Canadian. Yes, he's Canadian. William Shatner. James Speaker. Of the Starship Enterprise. 
Totally going to 300. Have an end for Nigel, please. Four of them. 1,200 points. You just secure. It's perfectly safe. 400. Have an M for mother. Not there. Andrew, was it Stan Laurel or Charlie Chaplin, whose real name was Jefferson? Stan Laurel. You are right. Well done. That's another nice spin you've gotten yourself in. What about this? Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, 200. A D, please, Nicky. D for Donald. Yes, you've got the 600 points. <laughs> have a guess, please. Yes, solve it. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Whoa! <laughs> Save. Well done, some good points as well. Now, our own intrepid superhero will describe the prizes you have to choose. Steve. Thank you, Nicky. Well, Andrew, if you love tradition, this prize is a must. An eight drawer chest and commode sideboard with mahogany finish, being a little touch of class into your living room. And in the same vein, this exquisite bureau and top would look superb in any room in the house, except perhaps the smallest room, but then they wouldn't fit there anyway. And lastly, this TV will cap it, make the perfect complement to a room and let you relax in luxury to watch your favourite programme. No, it doesn't seem to be a of fortune, it's, uh, ah, Oscar the Cat. Meow. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Andrew, what's it to be? I'd like to take the TV and cabinet, please. You can have the TV and cabinet, well chosen. We're halfway down the road towards the biggest jackpot on British television. Let's call up the bank and find out who's setting the pace. Calling it up, Andrew, 750. Paula, 1,950. Jane, looking good, 4,550. Yeah! Take it off, Jane. It will. We will be back in the spin of a wheel. Join us then. Live on Sky Sports. Welcome back to the Wheel of Fortune. The news is all good. I put another thousand on the wheel. What about that? And Carol has this very special prize. For the couple who have just about everything, the complete his and her skincare and perfume collection. <laughs> you know it makes sense. And you can win that if you land on this prize star, which I'm going to put down there, right beside the bankrupt. And then you have got to go on and solve this puzzle. It contains two words. It's an object. Paula, you to start this time. Answer this question. Gain control of the wheel. In 1981, did Raiders of the Lost Ark win four or seven Oscars? Seven. It was four Oscars. Andrew, in which month is St. George's Day? March or April? March. April the 23rd. Jane, do walruses live in the Arctic or the Antarctic? Antarctic. It's the Arctic. Oh. <laughs> Paula, is the Ponte Vecchio Bridge in Florence or in Venice? Florence. It's in Florence. Well done. You've got control of the wheel. <laughs> Remember, there's an extra thousand, a lot more points to be had, and that's very good for a first spin in part two. 750. A T for Thomas. Yes, you've got the points as well. There's one C there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. One. Lose a turn. Andrew, is Britain's smallest cathedral of old foundation in Wales or Scotland? Scotland. It's in Wales at St. Asaph. Jane, are most of Sweden's people Calvinist or Lutheran? Lutheran. It's correct. Well done. You've got it. <laughs> Down you go. Put it a rare old spin. 400. Um, I'm going to have an M for money, please. Mm. Not there. Paula, are there one or two C's in the word necessary? I'll have to hurry you. One. Is correct. Well done, you've got it, you're down there. <laughs> That's fine. Nine hundred. Mm. Not there. Andrew, did Yuri Gagarin first go into space in 1956 or 1961? 1956. No, it was 1961. Jane, is a barbel a fish or a bird? Bird. It's a fish. Oh. Paula, was Sir Christopher Wren buried in Westminster Abbey or St. Paul's? St. Paul's. Well done. You've got control of the wheel. Now, what will happen? 200. Um, can I have 
Come and offer Robert. Two of them. You've got 400 points as well. You've just missed a thousand last time, just too much this time. Who oh, I am? <laughs> 600. Can I have an L for lemon? Mm. Not there. Andrew, is a dandy roll used to groom a horse or to make paper? Make paper? Yep, it uh, presses in the watermark. <laughs> you could try grooming a horse with it. 200. Can I have a D for Donald, please? You can have two of them. You can have 400 points as well. <laughs> steady, 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 steady. On you go. One! C for Charlie, please. Two of them. 2,000 points picked up there as well. There are only vowels left. Solve it, Credit Andrew. card. Credit card is correct. Well done. <laughs> Credit card. Wow. Right. Now, you've got to choose one of these three prizes from Steve Hamilton. I'm sure one of these will do nicely. Certainly will, Vicky. There's a beautiful sight. Man and his best friend. And they've brought along the very best of equipment, too. A two-man tent, two beds, two sleeping bags, and two day packs. Ideal for outdoor pleasure. And for more adventurous time, how about seven nights of the canvas on a camping holiday in Europe? Pack up your bags and hop across the channel. We'll provide the tent and site for you when you arrive. And for those who fancy arriving in a more rugged way, you'll love this mountain bike. With rucksack, binoculars and anorak. It's the best way to get about in the countryside. Right, Andrew. I think I'd like to go camping in Europe, please, Nathan. By all means. Red prize, Andrew, going, but the scores are still all very close. Let's speed on to the speed round. One spin of the wheel, I do it. You pick a letter, if it's in the puzzle, you've got five seconds to solve it. Every single letter will be worth a very healthy 500. Right, let's look at the puzzle. It's got five words, it is a phrase. Andrew, you just start, go on. T for Tommy, please. Two of them, you've got a thousand points. Now, you have five seconds to solve it. Sorry, I don't know. Jane. Um, I'll have an S, please, for sausage. Two of them. You've got a thousand points as well. <laughs> Solve it. Nope. Okay, Paula. R for Robert. You've got 500. There's one there. There's an R there. Yeah. <laughs> Solve it. No. Andrew. N for Norman, please. Two of them. You've got another thousand. <laughs> now, solve it. Sorry. Jane. I'll have a M for Mummy, please. Not there. Paula. K for Kevin. Not there. Andrew. D for David. Two of them. A thousand more points. Five seconds to solve it from now. Jane. I'll have a G for Golly. There's one there. You've got 500 points. Now you have five seconds to solve it. Do you cats and dogs? You've solved it. <laughs> that is to rain cats and dogs. Yeah. Right, I thought that you were. Yeah, I thought you were. Right, you've got to choose a prize now. Steve. Well, Jane, if you think there's something fishy about this prize, then you're dead right. Not only are we offering this silver plated salmon dish, but also a supply of smoked salmon and a case of champagne. But if a whole dinner service is poor your style, then dine in style with a 46 piece Royal Dalton China service, complete with handmade lace napkins, rings, and placemats. And ever had a day when you want to say with flowers? Well, why not say it 52 times with this most fragrant of prizes? A year's supply of fresh flowers. Well, just tell me you're a vegetarian, so the smoked salmon's out, right? Yeah, so, uh, definitely. Well, I'll you... have the champagne, but I don't want that. I'll have the um, crockery, please. You can have the crockery. Well done, Jane. Thank you. Let's come to find out who, which of these three contestants is going to go forward and try for one of tonight's big star prizes. Remember, it's the biggest jackpot on British television. So, without hesitating any further, let's call up the bank. Paula, 3,600. Jane, 6,050. By 100, it's annually.
the narrowest of margins, Paula, empty-handed, apart from, of course, the Wheel of Fortune watch and the Wheel of Fortune board game. You'll have lots of fun with them. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Good I luck with the music therapy. Myself. What is it, sort of manicuring and yep. What, yep. what other sort all of stuff? All that sort of things, like waxing facials, all sorts of things. Well, I'll have, I'll have some done later on, and I'll look forward <laughs> to that. Good luck to you. Jane, you got in there with the prize as well. You got the crockery, so you'll enjoy that. Yeah. Good luck with the band. What's it called again, your boyfriend's band? School, SKW. No, I'm really sure we'll be hearing a lot about them very soon. <laughs> all the best to both of you. Paula and Jane. But for you, Andrew, it's time to leave this wheel behind and go for a possible fortune. <laughs> right, now, Andrew, first things first, you have to decide which of the star prizes you're going to go for. Steve. Well, Andrew, how do you fancy a fabulous fortnight for the beauty and tranquility of the Seychelles and Mauritius? Or would you like to grab Britain's biggest TV jackpot of £4,000? Or get your hands on the wheel of the big wheel set of wheels, the Vauxhall Nova three-door hatchback. Andrew, your spin was a win. We wish you the very best of luck as you make your choice. Right, well, Andrew, everyone's right behind you here in the studio, the entire nation, everyone at the Shropshire Star where you work, that newspaper, all fans of Leeds United as well. Which choice are you going to make? I'd like to go for the... The Nova, please. Thank you. Andrew's going for the car. Good luck, Andrew. <laughs> the only thing that stands between you and that car are these two words, which together make a television show. I want you to give me six letters in all, Andrew, five consonants and one vowel. The letters that you give me that also appear in this television show will light up on the board, helping you to solve it, all right? So first of all, good luck. Now... Give me the consonants. T for Tommy, S for Sugar, C for Charlie, N for Norman, R for Robert. All we need now is one vowel, Andrew. E for Exciting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put those letters into this television show. Wait till I say you can guess as many times as you want and you've got you've got the car. Go for it, Andrew. Coronation Street. You do. There are the car keys, ladies and gentlemen. What about that? Coronation Street. I tell you what, you're going to be front page of your own newspaper, the Shropshire Star. You ever been in the newspapers? I made the breath column once. Oh, congratulations. We'll see you next time around. Take care.